Yellow Stone or Yellow Jacket Yellow Jackets is possibly one of the best new television programs of 2021. The show attracted millions of fans because of its compelling characters, acting, mystery-tinged plot, and superb writing. It was a brilliant mashup of The Lord of the Flies and Lost. Also, there are many behind-the-scenes facts only die-hard Yellow Jacket fans can know. Watch this video for complete details. First up, who will be in the cast and new faces in Yellowstone Season 5? John Dutton, the father of the family is again in the driver's seat in Season 5, playing a new role. Dutton will continue to be the ranch's owner, while also taking on the far more important position of Governor of Montana. After speaking with the former governor, Lionel Perry, played by Wendy Manes, the startling news reappeared in Season 4. For the past 25 years, Costner has been one of the most known faces in the Western film genre, and works behind the scenes as an executive producer. Jake, a wild outlaw who made his debut in the 1985 film Silverado, has continued to play cowboy boys and explorers ever since, most notably in his Oscar-winning movie Dances with Wolves in 1990. Yellowstone won't stop Costner from doing what he does best, riding horses and pursuing bad men. Even though he may spend most of the season shaking hands and working behind a desk, the remaining members of the Dutton family are also coming back. Beth Dutton, played by Kelly Riley, is stirring the pot as promised, and she has more enemies than ever before going into Season 5. Additionally, she is now Miss Beth Dutton, after being married to her longtime partner partner Rip Wheeler, played by Cole Hauser. As the quiet youngest Dutton sibling, Casey, played by Luke Grimes, will once again be faced with the difficult decision of whether to stay with his new family on the reservation or turn his back on them. Then there's Jamie Dutton, portrayed by Wes Bentley, who is the family's black sheep. He is now defending his family again, although he is still at odds with his sister Beth and is under her control due to her blackmailing him into killing someone in the season 4 finale. The remaining regulars from the series will all be back. Up next, what to expect in Season 5 of Yellowstone. The fourth season ended on a more subdued note compared to previous seasons' brutal cliffhangers, which left the fate of the Dutton family in limbo. For fans who had been holding their breath in horror, afraid their favorites wouldn't return, there were no fights, shootouts, or kidnappings to end the season. Nothing has altered so far, but Season 5 will see several changes. The Duttons still own the Yellowstone Ranch, but their hold is slipping. It's becoming less likely that the Duttons will be able to hold on, as the the Broken Rock Indian Reservation, huge corporations, criminals, and more continue their battle to steal or regain the land. While Yellowstone has grown to be known for its romances, rope rodeos, and bunkhouse banter, such elements may take a back seat in Season 5 as it gets close to the finish line as to who will be crowned the next proprietor of the Yellowstone Ranch. However, Season 5 will still have lots of love triangles, difficulties, and heartache. The fourth season of the show hinted that Casey might be falling for Avery, played by Tanya Beatty and the season's conclusion proved it. In the last two episodes of Season 4, Casey has hallucinations of seeing Avery after meeting her on the reserve and noticing their evident chemistry. He replies that he saw the end of us when his wife Monica asks him what he saw while he was away. Many viewers believe he saw his marriage ending because of his visions of Avery, and they anticipate that to be a significant storyline point for Casey in Season 5. Speaking of weddings, viewers will have the good fortune to witness Beth and Rip as a recently wed pair. The two must still fight many battles alone as they adjust to married life, however. Caroline Weaver, Beth's old boss, has accused her of corporate espionage. In the season finale, Beth famously blackmailed Jamie Dutton into submission by capturing a picture of him dragging his birth father, Garrett Randall, played by Will Patton, who had died. Beth and Jamie are at odds and have been for a while. The two will probably cooperate in favor of their father as the new governor while slinging obscenities at one another. Jamie has committed yet another murder. And last, since this is Yellowstone, it will be filled with all the characteristics that define the Western subgenre. There will still be cowboys on horses galloping over the mountains, rendezvous in stables, roping instruction, and other elements that helped make the show popular in the first place. Taylor Sheridan, the creator and writer of Yellowstone, has hinted that the ranch is almost done and that we may see the beginning of the end. Up next, behind the scenes facts only die hard fans know. The creators of Yellow Jackets are a husband and wife team. Yellow Jackets is a family run business and several ways. Bart Nickerson and Ashley Lyle, married, are the series creators, according to Forbes. Along with Jonathan Lisko, the devoted couple also assists in running the program. The husband and wife team has collaborated on projects before. They have a lot of experience working as a creative team in the TV industry, collaborating on shows like Dispatches from Elsewhere, The Originals, and Narcos. Following is the fact that Yellow Jackets was inspired in part by actual events. Although Yellow Jackets has a lot in common with fictitious stories, its primary 
source of inspiration is genuine events. To be exact, there are two real examples. According to Ashley Lyle of Forbes, the Donner Party disaster of 1846 to 1847, and the well-known tale of Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571, which later inspired the film Alive, served as the main inspiration for her presentation. Both stories contain cannibalistic acts, and the first season of Yellowstone Jackets features one of the show's most horrifying incidents. Next is a portion of Yellow Jacket's conception as a female Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies was a significant source of inspiration for Yellow Jackets, especially the idea of sophisticated people descending into violent barbarism. The creators of the show chose to make this idea with female actors. Lyle told The Hollywood Reporter that it's a fascinating approach of having things slide away. The creators claim that social hierarchies and layered amounts of preconceived beliefs about how to behave and act are why females are more social than males. It's unquestionably an intriguing idea and has contributed to Yellow Jacket's rise to fame. Up next, the 1970s and 1990s were the originally planned eras for Yellow Jackets. Bart Nickerson and Ashley Lyle, the show's creators, sat down with The Hollywood Reporter to discuss the making of the program. It was revealed during the conversation that Yellow Jackets was initially intended to take place between the 1970s and the 1990s. They ultimately chose to forward the dates to appeal to younger viewers and reach a bigger audience. The Wilderness Tale took place in the 1990s, while the present was moved forward 20 years to the year 2021. And next, early consideration of Juliet Lewis. The show's writers claim that no one actor was in mind when they created the roles. They did, however, think of hiring Juliet, who played adult Natalie quite early. Lyle informed Entertainment Weekly that Juliet was really in their presentation, indicating that they had her in mind very early on in the show's development. Natalie is the ideal role for Lewis's kind of tough girl, with no-nonsense acting. And viewers can tell for sure, the same sort of personality can be found in some of Juliet Lewis's best movies. Next is the appearance of Sophie Nelise, who was altered to resemble Melanie Linsky. Sophie Nelise was most likely cast after Melanie Linsky because, as Lyle stated in her interview with Entertainment Weekly, Melanie Linsky was in very early. Nelise was also changed to look more like Linsky, even if they weren't particularly keen on matching physical attributes. Nelise has stunning blue eyes and blonde hair in real life. She had her hair colored, brown contacts put in, and was made to look like a younger Linsky. A total bodily metamorphosis was the outcome. Up next, Yellow Jackets has a five-season plan from the creators. Although the idea behind Yellow Jackets make it seem like something you might binge watch throughout a weekend, the plot is deeper than that. The young Tysa, played by Jasmine Savoy Brown, recently opened up to comicbook.com about the showrunner's five seasons already written out in their head. As long as the authors have everything planned out and aren't just making it up as they go, producing five five seasons worth of material doesn't seem like a horrible idea. For that reason, many worthwhile shows have fallen flat. Next, Sammy Hanratty appeared in a Natalie audition. Sammy Hanratty does a great job as Misty, but if she had her way, Sophie Thatcher would have been Natalie. Before being cast as Misty, Hanratty had five auditions for the show, according to Mashable. She admitted after trying out for the part of Natalie that she was very sad when she didn't get Natalie. She later went back to the Misty audition, though, and was immediately cast, with Lyle commenting that they immediately agreed that she was Misty after she read the scene to them. Also, the first season of Yellow Jackets took two years to film. The continuity team on this series deserves praise because they had a difficult task. Due to the disruption caused by the COVID outbreak, the movie Yellow Jackets was shot over two years. The Cinemaholic reports that the pilot was purportedly shot in the United States in November 2019. But soon after COVID lockdowns took place and production didn't pick back up until May 2021, the first season was filmed over a period of 23 three months, ending in October of that year. Finally, the crash site for the Yellow Jackets was located inside a paintball park. Production was transferred north to Canada when filming resumed in the spring of 2021, precisely British Columbia. According to the Cinemaholic, several locations in the province were utilized, with the crash site shot inside a sizable paintball park. The place is called the Panther Paintball and Airsoft Sports Park, and it's in Surrey. Although the show will lead viewers to assume that they are lost in the middle of a distant wilderness, they are roughly 30 miles southeast of downtown Vancouver. Like in all great plays, Yellow Jacket's backstory is frequently just as interesting as what is seen on film. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.